Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to teach all of you at home how to speed ramp using Final Cut Pro. Now, if you're not familiar with the term speed ramping, let me show you an example. Speed ramping is essentially the art of changing the timing of your footage in order to produce a creative effect. Well, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do this entirely using drone footage. Please know that speed ramping works amazingly well whenever you're trying to put together any kind of an action sequence or fight sequence or car chases or sports, or you wanna to put together a dance sequence. Those are just a few examples. You will use this effect all the time in editing. How to Speed Ramp in Final Cut Pro, coming up next on Tech Talk America. Just a quick programming note, for those of you who watch me every week as soon as the videos come out, uh, please know that I'm gonna be off the air for just a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be traveling, uh, take a little bit of time for myself for once, uh, and also to start working on developing a few other projects that I've got going on. So please do not fear, I shall return. Let's start today's class by going over the main keyboard shortcut that you're going to need to master anytime you need to speed ramp. That shortcut is to simply hold the shift key on your keyboard and then tap the letter B as in boy. And you're going to do this periodically over the course of that clip as you change the different parts as far as their timing. You should probably know that speed ramping works best when your footage is shot at a high frame rate. However, that being said, everything that I'm going to be demonstrating for you today is entirely shot in 30p, so it can be done. At this point, I wanna to demonstrate to you how to put together this shot, so let's switch over to my Mac. In order to create a speed ramp, place your playhead over the clip where you want it to start the first transition to the new speed. Then hold the shift key and tap the letter B, again as in boy. The next step is to move the playhead towards the end of the clip, and now we are going to create another speed ramp. So once again, we're gonna hold the shift key and tap the letter B. If you find that your timing is at all off, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you how to refine the timing coming up in a moment. Now let's set the speed for this clip. I'm gonna click on the little arrow here next to where it currently says 100% and I'm gonna change the speed to fast and set it to 20 times its normal speed because this is a pretty long clip. You can of course make adjustments to this speed later on. This is just to give it an idea of how fast you want it to go. Now I'd like to bring your attention to these grayed out bars which lie between these sections. These gray bars represent the transition speed to get from normal speed to our new speedy speed. Some people will tell you this effect looks best when you shorten these bars so that they take up very little time but I encourage you to be playful and see which method works best for you. If you ever need to make adjustments to when your speed ramps occur, for example, if you're trying to sync to the beat of the music, you can double click on this gray bar, then where it says source frame, click edit. From here, you're gonna to want to drag this point back to the left to your newly adjusted start time. I'm going to end this video with a voiceover so I can allow you to enjoy a few more pretty drone shots. If you found this instructional video helpful, it really helps me if you just take a moment or two and hit that little like button. Also, leave me a comment down below, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe. If you'd like to take a private lesson with me, that is something that I do, and two of my favorite topics are to help people grow their own YouTube channel and also help people with Final Cut Pro. At this point, I've made over 500 videos in the last eight years. For me to be able to pour myself into something that I'm passionate about is a massive blessing. If you have something that you are passionate about that you wanna share with the world, YouTube is an amazing platform to reach your audience. So let me be your coach. Sign up for a private lesson on my website at techtalkamerica.com slash private lessons. Thank you for watching everyone, and I will see you in a few weeks. 
This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.